Hey everyone, welcome to 14 things that will help you find a job hopefully. I'm David and this is Marley, so um, I'm going to be joined by my little robot friend who's going to do most of the reading for us. Um, hope he's helpful and I'm going to add my own comments as we go through. One, the clear out your objective. Okay, so you really want to know what your basically aiming for in a job. What do you want to get out of it? What kind of industry do you want to work in? Uh, you've really just got to think about, you know, what kind of, where you want to be in five years, for example. All of these are quite important. So yeah, just really, before you get going, just be very clear about what you want to achieve. Uh, should we go to number two? Um, two, research and roll, read the description. Again, fairly self-evident. But uh, make sure that you find out everything you can about the company. Do a lot of research. Who are you going to be interviewing? Um, check out their website. What what do they do exactly? A lot of companies are quite complicated these days. So it's very important that you do as much research as you possibly can. It'll stand you in really good stead in the interview. Uh, let's go for number three. Three. Organism keep track of every job you apply for. Okay, I highly recommend that you get yourself a spreadsheet or something uh, that you can keep all your job information in. Uh, keep as much information there as possible. So, for example, the um, name of the company, who you're interviewing, um, the website, keep any dates sort of written down, just so you're not really taken by surprise. Um, let's go for number four. By the way, the robot down there, he's the one reading this. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Four. Change your resume for every job you go for. So this is a very good tip. If you don't want to change your uh, resume for every job you go for, then the other alternative is you have a list of um, resumes with a different focus. So, uh, for example, one role might require more management than another role. Or one role might require more expertise or maybe more web developing or maybe more coding or whatever it is. Just get your CV so that the person um, looking at it thinks, yes, this is the kind of person we want. Very uh, useful tip there. And we're at number five. Five. Build a personal brand and use the correct websites for your industry like GitHub, DIY Insert, S. Okay, um, again, a very good tip. <clears throat> Find out what websites your uh, particular industry uses and use them so it's fantastic if you want to go into coding you know get some projects on github get some open source um if you want to go into art and design or anything like that then deviantart or other websites or you know you could always build your own website that's what i did uh, it's dwback.com if you want to check it out but uh yeah absolutely it's um something to sort of show people and it will help you get a job Another tip while we're here, if you're a student and you're thinking about getting a job in the future, which I assume you will, then keep everything you produce, back it all up, uh, because it will come in handy at some stage, I guarantee it. And we're on to number six already. Six. Stay in contact with people on LinkedIn and networking. Okay, very good tip here. Uh, keep your colleagues on LinkedIn and, you know, if you want to... Well, a powerful tip here, you can actually write reviews for your colleagues and they might write them for you and then it's not just you saying that you're very good at something. If your colleagues are saying it too, then it uh, comes across as much more believable. So yeah, stay up to date on LinkedIn, absolutely. And other appropriate websites. Seven, be proactive in looking for jobs. Contact the companies you want to work for and keep a list. Again, proactive, fantastic. Um, Maybe you could have like a top 10 list of companies that you'd love to work for and do it. I mean, do it and then look for any job openings that they may have. Um, the worst that they can say is no, but feel free to um, go for any job, any big tech companies, anything you want to. Because you never know. 8. Take a long-term view. Find work and be stressful. Take time out for yourself. Absolutely key here. Make sure you do plenty of exercise. Keep yourself happy and active. Go out with your friends. Do whatever you normally do. Um, because the, actually if you get all stressed and wound up. Then the only person you're really hurting yourself. And 
you know, you, you need to actually stay happy and healthy and all the rest of it because otherwise, well, like I say, you're only hating yourself. We're at number nine already. Nine. Create stories and examples in a power pitch. Power pitch, yes. Write yourself out a, a little paragraph of things you want to say before an interview and memorize it so that if you run out of things to say, you can reference back to your power pitch. Uh, the, the other thing is, a lot of um, recruiters or people in recruitment will probably do a lot of interviews. They might do 10 or 20 or more. So if you actually tell people stories, they're really memorable and it puts you in good stead. And practice for interviews. Think about the questions you may be asked. Maybe practice what you will say with someone else. Again, fantastic hit here. Um, get yourself an interview buddy. Just someone who you can um, practice questions with. Um, fantastic tip here. So we're back at number 11. Unfortunately, the sound messed up, so I'm just going to start again from 11. 11. Follow after an interview and show your team. Ask for feedback. Okay, this is very important. Um, after the interview's finished, make sure you do follow up, ask for feedback, anything that you get, you can learn from, and it's it shows that you're a good communicator if you do follow up. Very important. Let's go to number 12. 12. Set a timeline for getting a job. You could say that you're giving yourself six months to find the role you want. Okay, so this is a great tip right here. If you set yourself, for example, a 12-month um, period where you're just going to find a job, then what this actually does, it kind of reduces your stress level. It kind of means that you can go out and you can do other things and you don't have to worry so much about immediately getting a job because you're going to say, well, heck, I've got a few more months to actually get a job. So in a way, this kind of stops you from panicking, kind of relaxes you down a bit, lets you find a job more effectively. Very good tip there. 13. Remember to make time for you. Go for walks, go swimming, go to the gym, stay up to date with friends. Swimming, yeah. Again, another very useful tip here. Um, again, this is the same as what I was saying previously. Just make sure that you keep up with your hobbies, that you stay happy and healthy as much as you can. In fact, losing a job is actually a good opportunity to, you know, do the things that you want to do. Maybe you want to get a bit fitter. Maybe you want to get on a diet. Anyway, it's entirely up to you, but it see everything as an opportunity. Um, there's upsides and downsides to everything, so just make the most of it, really. 14. Build new skills and consider volunteering. Okay, so two things here. If you're looking at a lot of different jobs and they all have a skill that you don't have, you can perhaps look into investing a bit of time into actually learning that skill, say an hour or two a day. It doesn't have to be loads of time, but it's it's a really good opportunity to um, build up new skills. And if you're looking to get into a particular industry, maybe volunteering is a route for you. Um, I don't know if you want to get into journalism or something similar, then taking a sort of volunteering opportunity might be the way to go. Now we've gone under the bonus tips. So let's have a good old look. Plus, plus create a routine and stick to it, including what time you sleep and daily rituals. Oh dear. Okay, so create a routine and stick to it. Um, having a bedtime is very useful. I, I know it might be, seen, might be seen as a little bit childish, but if you go to bed at different times every night, this can mess up your circadian rhythms. And um, daily um, routines are absolutely fantastic here. Um, maybe, for example, you want to spend four hours job searching, then you want to, I don't know, take the dog out or um, have a nice lunch or something. But yeah, just build up your little um, routines so you're not sort of thrown up in the air and everything isn't chaos. Very good tip, I think. Plus, plus, consider writing a thank you note after an interview to everyone involved. This will make you stand out. This is um, a fantastic tip. Um, just politeness generally is fantastic. All through the interview, before the interview, just showing that you're passionate and you're committed. And actually, I think a thank you night goes a long way. 
in showing that you're a, a kind of responsible person who cares about other people and but you're very keen to get the job it, i mean it all helps right so i really hope that you've enjoyed this list um sorry i had to break it off halfway through but the audio went a bit skewy but that's all fixed now hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed so yeah um please do let me know if you've got any other tips just share them in the comments down there and yeah please do subscribe etc and also please do let me know if you want to see more content like this or what you want to see next and i will do my best to fulfill that thank you very much bye <laughs>